Well, Matt, we'll start with that goal on Saturday. You are supposed to the left footed. Have you ever hit a shot sweeter on your right foot than that? No, I can't say I have to be fair. Like I've like I've been saying to the lads and my family, like I've never hit a I've never hit a clean strike my right foot ever in my life. Like I tried one in pre season, uh, very similar. I came inside on my right foot and I sort of hit it and it sort of bobbled out wide and everyone's like, Stop shooting with your right, do you know what I mean? So obviously I've come inside on Saturday and it's just been perfect. Like I just thought just hit it as hard as you can and hope for the best and I've hit it and as soon as I've hit the ball, I sort of know where it's going. Like, and obviously I've looked up and it's sort of flew past the keeper. And I've seen it back, obviously on BT and everything, and it's, it looks unbelievable. But obviously, when you think about it, but it's like, but no, I was real happy with how how I hit it, and obviously that it went in. It was a goal that meant a lot for you personally as well. We saw that in your celebration afterwards. It, it was an emotional one. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Like I said, um, I've just been sent the lads there. Actually, I'm, I put a tweet out before about one o'clock saying, obviously it was my dad's birthday. Who, Sadly, died a year ago, well, about 14 months ago, or something like that. So, so yeah, obviously it was a very special moment. Obviously on my dad's birthday and everything, he was always saying to me I should shoot more on my right foot as well and things like, like I was saying that to my mum before the game. I hopefully I'll score today for my dad and whatever. And obviously I've come inside and I've just uh, done that with my right foot on my dad's birthday. It's like it's mental, isn't it? How it works out. But no, it was a real special goal and I went round and seen my mum and my nan and my family, my brother and everyone. It was just. Really special to watch it back, obviously, on my dad's birthday and that, and obviously, hopefully it made people happy. That's two now for the season already, and an assist. You seem to really be relishing that role at left wing back at the minute. Does it really suit your game? Yeah, I think definitely, yeah. I think, obviously, I think I'm, I'm like, in between a winger and a full-back, I think, so obviously that that position just fits me down with T. Obviously, I love getting forward, I love getting at people, getting crosses in the box like the gaffer asked me to do. I love taking people one, coming inside, coming outside, you know what I mean? So, obviously... If I can keep working on my right foot, then obviously I can go one way and go the other way. So it'll be an absolute nightmare for the fullback. Obviously, I've played a fullback in a four before, and obviously when a winger can go down the line and beat you, and inside and beat you and shoot, it's an absolute nightmare. So if I can keep, hopefully keep coming inside and whatever, and working on my right foot and keep shooting my right foot getting better, then I think that there's no reason why I can't keep scoring with it and hopefully keep going and getting obviously more assists than that. But no, I am relishing it, especially under the team, the way we play. It's very very attacking football and I get a lot of the ball which obviously I want and obviously hopefully get more assists and more goals and help the team keep winning. You're covering a lot of ground up and down that left wing it's probably the most demanding role at the team at wing back at the minute how much does it help having someone like James Jennings as well to, to share that work? Though? Yeah definitely yeah like I said uh, since I've come in day one JJ has been different class we have a we have a real good relationship he's a real top bloke and obviously we get on real well and everything like that so I think there's no there's no bitterness if JJ starts, I'm happy, I want him to do well if I start. And obviously, we know that at some point, well, you've seen it a lot of times this season where obviously wing backs are very, very demanding position. So obviously, after say 70, 80 minutes, to have another lad who's just as fresh as you and just as good as you, like to obviously come on, obviously, it's real good knowing that you've got that extra backup, do you know what I mean? Or if you've got a little niggle, we, we obviously know that we've got another real good player to come straight back in. So that competition is really good. And obviously, like I said, I get on really well with him. So obviously, it's, it's real good, to be fair. Early days, of course, but top of the league. That must be a, it must have been a nice feeling to have this week. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, we've seen, uh, we've seen this uh, fixtures before kick-off. And we've seen that if we can go and win this game, then we can go top of the league with Hartlepool, obviously, game getting cancelled. So I think that was a big, big boost for us to go and do it. And I think we... I think we did deserve to win the game. It was just, um, obviously, at the end, it was absolute carnage, wasn't it? When the ball wouldn't go in, obviously, I just literally got took off. And I've seen, um, was it? Ben got one cleared off the line, wasn't it? Then Lois got one. I'm thinking, oh, my God, it's just not meant to be. And then Runes just whacked one across and a, a really just come on and got us the winner. So I know, but that just shows the power of the bench. You've seen it so many times this season when we... When we're sort of struggling, we bring two, three fresh lads on and they're just they're always contributing. Do you know what I mean? So it's a real, real good asset to have. It's just field again this weekend in the FA Cup this time. Do you feel like you've maybe got the measure of them now, having just won there at the last weekend? Yeah, definitely. I think, well, like I said, I think we um, I think we thoroughly deserve to win that match. But obviously, they're, they're a real good National League team. They've been in League 2 and everything, League 1, whatever. And it's a, it's a real good club. So obviously, we can we can't go into that game just because we've beaten once thinking we're going to go there and turn them over. We have to treat them with respect. Obviously, they've got big, strong players with Denton up top and he's a handful, so we have to deal with that first. But I think there's no reason why we can't go into the game thinking exactly what we thought on Saturday, go there to win. 
and obviously hopefully get into the next round with the FA Cup, which is a real big, important um, competition for the club. And how important is it just to just to keep that momentum going? I know it's not a league game, but just to keep that run, yeah. run going. No, really definitely. I think I think if you look at like I said about our squad, how big it is. I think there's always there's always going to be sort of ins and outs. And obviously, I think cup competitions are good for people who aren't maybe not playing as much and they're coming on or whatever and showing what they're about. So I think it, it gives a real good, strong like um, core to the team. But obviously, the FA Cup's a massive competition. It's got a lot of tradition, and I think. Obviously, Stockport are going to want to make money from it, whatever. And obviously, so I think it's a real good competition to obviously go into the next round and hopefully we can do that. Great stuff, Matt. Thanks for your time. Yeah, no, it's perfect, mate. Thank you.